Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Black & Decker single serve coffee maker. It comes with a 16 ounce travel mug. Okay, so here's the 16 ounce travel mug that comes with it. Now it's not spill proof. It has an opening that's open all the time, but at least the lid does have an O-ring to keep it on. Again, this travel mug is all plastic. Very simple to, to operate. It's got just a single start switch right here and a light. So up here at the top, this is where you're gonna this is where you're gonna put the coffee and the water. There's the brew head. Now it does come with this permanent filter, and the maximum amount of coffee is three tablespoons. And then here's this basket. So when you put this basket in, there is this little notch. It's gonna fit right there. Make sure you put it in correctly, or the lid won't close. The notch goes there, and then this little tab goes over here. Okay, so you're gonna put the water back here. Now it will not hold any more than 16 ounces. So whatever amount of water you put back here, that's what it's gonna brew. But if you put too much, it will leak out there. Now this is only a 16 ounce travel mug. Okay, so let's put three tablespoons of, of medium ground coffee right there. Okay, so I've got my coffee in, my water in. Okay, so let's just close the lid. Make sure you snap it. And you're simply gonna hit this to the start. There's a light on the front that comes on and then let's time it and see how long it's gonna take. Now you can make sure this is empty. You can put this on here and it can brew into there, but I'm gonna leave it off to do some temperature checks. So it will fit about a seven inch, almost six and three quarter inch travel mug. Now it's only been about 40 seconds. It starts brewing right away. Okay, so the coffee coming out the bottom is about 170. It's a little hard to read. It's about 170. Let's just take a real quick sneak peek, see how it's doing. It's doing a good job brewing the coffee. So the water up top, I'm seeing around 195, 196, 198. And again, here's what it looks like. So the, co the coffee smells really good that it's brewing. Okay, so it's been brewing a little bit now, two minutes. The coffee coming out the bottom is about 185. So be careful, that's very hot coffee. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. It's getting towards the end of the brew. It's not a super loud coffee maker, but you do get some kind of puffs of steam and it's a little um, loud towards the end. So we can see the coffee's coming up. Let's take a look. If you wanted your coffee a little stronger, you could put another tablespoon of coffee in there. Okay, so about the five minute mark, it's gonna finish up here. It's gonna turn off automatically. The red light's gonna turn off here in a second. We end up with really hot coffee, 180 degrees, very hot cup of coffee. You're going to have to let it stop dripping. So again, you don't have to turn any switch off or anything. This switch is spring loaded to the start position. And once it's finished, it'll turn this red light off and it shuts off automatically. So at the five minute mark, this coffee is ready to go. It has stopped dripping. I can put my lid on there. Now again, this travel mug is getting a little warm on the outside, but that's extremely hot coffee on the inside. Okay, so let's pour some of this into a clear container. You can see that made a very nice cup of coffee. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, that tastes, that tastes really good. That's really, really hot right now, but that tastes really good. Okay, so let's go over cleanup. Be careful, this lid gets really hot, so be careful. Let this cool down, but you can take your, there's what the coffee grounds it did. You can take that out and clean it. This is dishwasher safe, both of these parts and the tumbler. Okay, so with the permanent filter, you will get a little bit of sediment towards the bottom of your coffee. If your coffee sits for a while, you'll get just some really fine sediment down at the bottom. But if you keep it stirred, it, I think it does add a little bit of flavor to it. Let's go over some measurements. So the tumbler that comes with it's gonna fit in a drink about two and a half inches. And this tumbler is right at seven inches tall and it fits under there just fine. So the coffee maker front to back is around six inches and height wise, you are gonna have to be able to open the lid all the way. So height wise with the lid all the way open about 15 and three quarters. So it will fit under a kitchen cabinet. So here's what the bottom of it looks like. And it does say it's 650 Watts. And again, here's a close up of that switch. You're simply gonna press it. It's kind of spring loaded and that's gonna start the brew. And again, if you wanted to add another tablespoon of coffee, I think you'd be just fine. That would be a very nice, strong cup of coffee and it's extremely hot, so be careful. So this coffee maker does retail for about $25. It, again, it is all plastic, pretty much. The tumbler, I mean, when you look at this coffee maker and feel it, 
you have an overall plastic feeling to it. Now, it does make a very hot cup of coffee, and the coffee did taste really good. 